everyone, welcome to Rutana's Box and Stop and today we have another video in my new series of weekly pickups or weekend pickups. Um, yeah, I'm still figuring out if it has enough viewers to relevant the series. I think I will do a maximum of five parts before I decide. So yeah, to see if it pickups. <laughs> so for this week we'll start with apparel because I've got some clothes and it's always nice to have a k empty table to spread out shirts so let's start with clothing. Um, first apparel that came here, that reached here this week was this tank top. It's so nearly bright, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm a Sailor Moon fan from very little and um, I'm loving this. I just love it. There's not much else to say. It's a really nice retro themed Sailor Moon shirt. My coat was my favorite. <laughs> Next up we have another shirt. Oh, the tank top I got at the Yeti, by the way. Now the next shirt is from QWERTY. And it's Doctor Who. Um, this shirt has two things that immediately make me buy this shirt. Um, number one, it's my favorite Doctor, the Tenth Doctor. And number two, it glows in the dark. And I love stuff that glows in the dark. So I won't be able to show you the glow in the dark effect because um, it's usually not picked up by cameras. I might try and cut it in, but if there's not cutting in, so I couldn't pick up the glow in the dark effect. Last appeal is a new pad, <laughs> a new set of pants and I only show it this way. It has a Zelda logo and it has this nice Hyrule themed bent. So, yeah, a Zelda pants. Right, let's transition to the next thing. And this I've got from Japan. Um, it ended up at the customs, but no worries to pick it up. So, it's, as you can already see, a golden Mario figure. It has a very neat box and I must admit when I bought it I thought it was bigger because I have these high 50 centimeter figures and yeah that's not reaching 50 centimeters but it'll still look good next to it next to them so I don't mind too much. Here we have it fully unwrapped. As you can see it's in a perfect condition and yeah, it's just nice to display, I think. Even so it has weird screw holes. But hey, you'll display it like this anyway. There's the 30th anniversary of Mario logo at the back. And that's a movable head, movable arms, and movable legs. You can display him in a lot of varied poses. <laughs> Let's get to the next thing. Next up we have two Switch games. The first is Yonder. The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Um, heard a lot of good from the game before so I picked it up as German back text as you can see. Um, yeah, we can take a quick look into it if it has a manual, but I adopt it. Yeah, but it has a nice artwork on the inside. Now, the second one is the Flashback 25th Anniversary Edition. And I will not open it up yet. I have a video planned for Tuesday with 
small Switch limited editions and this will fit right into it even so I actually have already filmed and edited the video and now have to re-edit it to fit this in but I think it's worth it so look forward to it on Tuesday. Next up we have a small artist contribution again and I will um, show you what's inside. Now first up we have these Fire Emblem washi tapes. Which are awesome. Now again as I did with the last washi tapes, I won't show them to you in full. Come on. Um, because I don't want to open them yet. But luckily, she used the same washi tapes on the envelope. Um, this one isn't complete, obviously, but the other one is. Just have to cover up both addresses. I'll just show it to you in a very, very close up. That's better. So, yeah, it's super sweet, it's super cute, and I'm looking forward to using them. Now, the artist in question is Fish and Bacon. I will um, put the links to Twitter and her shop but down there in the Description again has a very cute business card. Now, additionally to the washi tapes, I got this cool Camilla sticker as a surprise, as a little bonus, which is awesome. And I've got these cool. Pokemon sticker sheets from her. Various Pokeballs and Illusions. Alright, let's get on to the next thing. Next up is a delivery from Amiami from Japan. Nice little card again. They have great artwork cards that they put to their uh, deliveries and it's the next big Fire Emblem Heroes acrylic stand. It's Camilla. Now again, my plead for help, I still haven't found someone who can get these acrylic stands to me. I only have Camilla, Alphonse and Sharina. I'm looking for everyone else. Please, if you know where to get them, if you have the chance to get them and ship them to me, I'll pay the item, I'll pay shipping without question, just help me get them. <laughs> it's so hard to get them. And here's the stand fully built up. It's so gorgeous and I want the other ones. So again, if you know how to help me, please do. Please. Now before we come to the last item, a little disclaimer. This table isn't big enough for the next item. I was kinda shocked when it came, but shocked in a positive sense because I would have never assumed it to be this big. And please spare your that's what she said jokes in the comments because that's a stupid kind of joke you can make. And it's annoying. It's really annoying. So don't do it. So yeah, without further ado, I got my hands on the Breath of the Wild Traveler's Bow with Ancient Arrow light up thingy from Thinkik. Um, I packed them to make this ship internationally because I had a shipping restriction on it. And they made it shipping internationally and I immediately jumped to it and bought it without thinking, together with the pants. Yeah! And just five minutes after placing the order I found out 
literally five minutes, that GameStop in Germany also sells it. I could have saved a lot of money if I've noticed this earlier. And I won't make this mistake again. <laughs> because unfortunately I couldn't get it cancelled at SyncGeek and if I had sent it back and would have sit on the shipping costs anyway so it yeah I would have paid even more so I accepted it of course and I'm happy that I got it but I'm a bit a little bit <laughs> annoyed that I didn't notice my mistake earlier. So let's open this up. Now I went ahead and opened it up completely out of camera because um getting this thing out was insane. <laughs> so here we have it in a really great life size replica way. Have the bow. Can even pull the string a bit, but not too much. It's not able to actually shoot an arrow, so don't try it, please. So <laughs> damage it. Um, it's wonderfully crafted. It's really, really cool. I'm loving it so much. And fitting to the bow, we have the arrow. So this is nice and flexible as an arrow shaft should be. Uh, it's a little bit dented here, probably from getting it out. It's nice details. Here's the arrowhead. And here it's lit up. Now of course the effect is a bit minimized through the um, a strong light, I'll add a better shot of it in the dark. But yeah, this is really, really cool. And finally, we've got the wall mount to add it. And yeah, um, there are actually materials to wall it up. Yes, twice true screws that I didn't get out now because um, for now I won't I don't have the space to actually hang it up. But as soon as my game room is ready, this will end up on the wall for sure. So this is the last item of my weekly pickups. Grand item to finish it. I'm so oh this is so cool. I might not like Breath of the Wild. I uh, really don't like it as a game, but um, the aesthetic, the style and the graphics um, are really, really cool, so this is still very cool to have. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned next Thursday for the next Weekend Pickups. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you again. Until then... See ya! Thank you so much for watching. You can check out my other videos covering collector's editions on the playlist on the upper left. Expect a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Thursday and a LEGO Dimension video every Friday. Take a look on my other channel covering mystery box unboxings on the lower right. Until next time! See ya!